Let's do this. Hello everyone and welcome back. Oh, God. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, recap what happened last episode. Um, we did that pawn quest, which was a pretty good quest. We get the hell out of there. Um, however, I found out where to go next, but big story. I had to go through... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I lost this item, so I had to start an entirely new character. Now he's identical to the last dude, you know. Um, the only difference is, is that I've got much better equipment now just because I managed to save up along the way. Um, I think I'm a lower level. But, yeah, uh, it was a little bit, took about an extra hour or so to get back up here just because um, I could not continue that mission. But, basically, what's happening now is that I've um, got a certain hunting license, which was the item that glitched out and I couldn't progress on my other character. Um, so now I've got to route a, uh, an, a monster invasion by the looks of it. That's what that guy was blabbering on about at the start of the episode. So, let me go ahead and actually, I better check where the heck this, this thing is. Maybe assign it to my, oh, oh come on. I already knew this. Don't need that. There we are. Okay. Okay. So this is where we're heading. Let's go. Yeah, so... <laughs> I did a lot of... Um, oh, not a lot. Oh, not really side quests, just exploring on the other character. And I leveled him up quite a bit. And yeah, I had an, you know, an experimentation with the weapons and that. And so far, funnily enough, I just like the sword and shield. Don't ask me why, I mean, the daggers look pretty, you know, and it's my second favourite. Uh, but I know the sword just hits hard, but it has a nice balance, you know, and a nice speed. Um, I tried a two-handed weapon, but it just, oh uh, no, the gameplay just didn't look exciting, you know? Like, there's no evasion, there's no blocking, from what I could tell anyway, unless it unlocks further abilities. Um, you just sat there and soaked damage, you know, and that's not, <laughs> that's not how I'd like to play. So, okay. I need to, you know, get a rough idea where the hell I'm going. To give me a second map. Uh, yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. How the heck do I get there? Through there? I mean, um... And try. Okay, so I guess I'll head back down through this way. Yeah, character looks pretty slick. Oh, man, I didn't look at one of the older... <laughs> Videos. I don't know if that was the colour of the other dude's hair or not. I think it may have been... I swore I chose grey. Like, when I made this dude, because I'm pretty sure the last dude, last shadow's hair was grey. But... Don't worry, I'll fix it. Leave in the comments if it is or not. Might take a couple of episodes for me to fix it, but... <laughs> See, this weapon just has a nice, you know, speed to it. Also... I mean, the abilities it has is pretty awesome. I mean, you got your charge attack, which knocks a lot of enemies down straight away, you know? Um, it's great to have. I don't know how many times, especially against wolves and that, I've found that this closes that gap and just delivers a really, really hard hit, you know? Man, a couple have got to go all the way back through this. Shut up. Stop yelling at people. There we are. Thank you. Oh. Saved your butt. Oh, more? Really? <laughs> You're gone. Get out of here. Wow, I hope I'm heading the right way. Between the encampment and the capital. You were here. To finish one sentence before you start the next, Jesus. 
So, traveling party I've got at the moment. I've got two sorcerers just because... Oh, oh what a hit. Because, uh... It's, it's dead. No, it's dead. Oh, God. Overkill. Um, two healers is just awesome. And as you can see, their fireballs are pretty effective against certain foes. The ones I can't hit, so... They've just got that niche, you know, that they don't have. Oh, come on, more. Stupid harpies. The heck? Oh. And damn. Oh, Jeez, man, they just don't shut up. <laughs> we have triumphed. Always gives me chills beating harpies just because they're like, yeah, and you're like, oh my god. So, oh, here we go. More. Oh, miss. Oh, got him that time, though. Oh, almost got it. You can't argue with that. Man, I'm hope I'm heading the right way. If I don't get roughly where I need to be in this episode, yeah, I will uh go ahead and skip it until I find the next, you know, where we need to actually go. So you guys don't see a couple of episodes of me just running around trying to find where the hell I'm meant to go. Also, I've decided I'm not going to do any extra quests. Like, I'll pick them up, and if I do them along the way, then, you know, that's great. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch, you know, so many videos. There's so many quests in this game. It's staggering. If you guys are on the, you know, um, fence about getting this game, just jump off the fence and get on the right side, because this game is just awesome. I mean, I played a lot of RPGs, like a lot of the new release ones. Um, like Skyrim's good, but the combat in Skyrim is nowhere near as good as this. Uh, you've got Dark Souls, which is an awesome game, but I think it's um, it, it, it's, it's, I know they're challenging in two different ways, you know. Um, I think Dark Souls is definitely the most challenging out of both games, but they're both pretty challenging, really. To Dark Souls. Is, um, is a pretty good comparison to this game, actually. Because you do need thought against a lot of the enemies in this one. Um, I also played Kingdoms of Amalur, but yeah, it wasn't a bad game, but the combat in this, for me, is a lot more fun anyway. Also, just the... Um, there's so many enemies, and I've barely scratched the surface. You know, and I've managed to go a little bit further in the other areas. And, you know, it's not just reskins of enemies. You know, it's actually differently detailed enemies. I mean, they put a lot of effort into this game. I'm surprised because normally I used to be a Capcom fan, but you know, after the whole <laughs> Mega Man and whatnot, a couple of other things have done recently. Um, fell out with them. But yeah, no, they, um, this one was actually really good effort. Uh, it has, from what I can tell, I haven't looked into it, but it does remind me a lot of a series uh, Capcom released called Monster Hunter. And it's an awesome, fire. awesome series. It's one of my favourite. Um, I know path. the composer composed the music in this one, but you can just tell Keep with the moving. boss battles that it's had a heavy influence. You know, from... Um... Oh, God, I hope I'm in the right way. Oh, what the heck? I'm being attacked? Yeah. I... You can tell that it's been influenced by him. Oh, 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 thank you. That was going to get nasty. That's another thing I've learnt to do, uh, uh, pick up people and throw them if you stun them oh, and not kill them. Which is hard for me because these guys are surprisingly weak. Uh, you can pick them up and throw them. And you can throw them off a cliff, you know, you can actually get some pretty cheap kills. If they drop gear, you won't get the gear. But um, you will kill them easily and you will get the XP, so... I've done that to a couple of high level enemies where I'm just like, yeah, you guys are extremely hard. I'm gonna throw you. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's cheap, but it's so satisfying. 
Also, if you guys own this game, try and pick up an enemy and throw it into another one. Because it actually does a bit of damage. And it um, staggers them, you know, a decent amount. Oh, these guys are easier than they look. Oh, that guy's not. Gotcha. Bring it. Uh, if you compare this to the early videos I've made, you'll see that I'm playing a bit, different, you know, a bit better. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had a bit of practice. It's a bit of a learning curve this game. It's a bit more uh, reactive than Dark Souls. Like Dark Souls is all about, well, my opinion, is about um, anticipation, you know? And um, going through carefully, where this, a lot of it is reflexes and makes the um, combat very fun. Oh, wait, I've got it. Okay, I um, guess it's in this direction. Care to find out where this path leads? It's interesting because this one has a stamina bar just like Dark Souls. And um, it's really not as important, but it definitely plays a role in combat. And I mean, you can't even sprint for that long, which, which is good. Like, it, at, the, at the start, don't get me wrong, it annoys you. But you learn to appreciate, you know, the tension it can create if your stamina is getting low mid battle or you're trying to run from something and you run out of stamina, you know, just. Yeah. It's an awesome little mechanic that. Holy crap, look at the size of that one! Lord! Come on, come on. It was gone. Oh. That'll do it. Now, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the stamina mechanic. Um, yeah, it's well done in this. It's not as important as in Dark Souls, but it still, you know, has a very viable reason to be there. Especially when grappling huge enemies. I mean, I'm heading in the general direction, right? We are apt to meet bandits and thieves as often as peddlers. Um, be watchful. Behind you, come on, guys! Don't get hit by. Uh, I said, don't get hit. Trust the one advantage. dude to get hit by. Jeez. Go ahead and quick save. Oh, I remember this place. Do you remember the Chimera? <laughs> or around the Chimera? Yeah, this is near the Chimera. This is going to be interesting. Remember, there's these really hard guys up here, and I had that really uber powerful dude with the double sword. Oh, double handed sword. That was awesome. He did a lot of the heavy hit. Hitting. So. Sick em, boys. Chat out. Oh, God. I missed. Come back. I may hit thee. Oh, whoa. Well, the really cool thing that um, I've, you know, I've noticed recently is these enemies, they have the same skills as you. So, I mean, you know, you'll get hit with an archer ability that you can actually use, you know, which is pretty cool. Oh, 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 this guy's getting hard. Gotcha. Oh. This guy is a good idea having two healers. Oi. Get him, guys. Get him, get him, get him. You. So get him. <laughs> oh, what a terrible bunch of people. Did he drop? Oh, he didn't even drop anything. Oh man, I should have bought some herbs before I started walking out here. Stick who out? Oh. There we are. A throw blast. That never hardly a warm up. Picked that up before. Um, banditism. Yeah, it'd be cool if they had like um, if they had like a skill selection. Or like a skill menu that you could actually tell your people to use, you know? Like um like Mass Effect 3. You know? Where you could actually get them to use it at will. Like obviously you need to Oh crap! Oh god. Oh, don't fall down there, you will die. So It'd be cool to kinda of have that level of strategy, but I mean pawns aren't that bad. To the point where you know you think about it too much. I love this sword, man. It's fast, but it offers a, um... Oi. Stop killing people. That's what I thought. Oop. Are we killing? Yeah. 
Gotcha. Oh, she's going down there to finish him. She ain't letting him get away. Leroy! Oh, missed. Man. Oh. This looks suspiciously close to where I fought that guy, Mira. God. Can I save? Alright guys, that's going to end it for the episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Leave a comment and all that. See you later.